Hello, everybody, and I'm delighted to be joined by my client, Diane Michael from LadyLikeLeaders.com. Diane and I have been working together for a few months now, and I wanted to bring Diane on today to really share her experience of, uh, of the coaching and particularly of becoming weightless around money, because this is an area that, as I've shared with many of you out there reading my posts and listening, that peace is possible right now around money. It is not dependent on your bank account changing. It is not dependent on, you know, your credit score going up. It is not dependent on any of those traditional things that people are saying need to happen before they can be okay around money. And it is my job to help people really feel that and see that potential uh, and then ultimately become more weightless around money in the room with the audience. Just, you know, your experience across the past few months coaching together and essentially what you're noticing for yourself now. Um, I'm sure people would be inspired as to, as to what's been arising in you. <laughs> well, I'm very grateful to you uh, for the breakthroughs that I've had over the last couple of months. This has been a struggle for me my whole adult life. Um, actually, my whole life, because uh, I grew up in with a lot of uh, scarcity mindset with my family, and um, and then that carried definitely carried into my adulthood. And so I've just always had a lot of anxiety around money, and um, always felt like I couldn't get past that until there was enough. And mm. and I noticed that there were seasons in my life where there was abundance. Um, it would come and go <laughs> too quickly, <laughs> uh, but even in those moments, I still wasn't relaxed about money. So it was uh, an ongoing struggle, no matter how much was in the bank. Uh, the last, you know, the last year and a half has been a true test of this because um, I went through a, um, I guess this is okay to share, but I, I went through a divorce and it kind of a, a result of that, um, of me having to leave a situation very quickly and unexpectedly just because I didn't feel safe in it. Um, I was locked out of all of our joint bank accounts. And so I had to start over completely with nothing with zero and I'm a business owner. <laughs> um, and so it's been a real, real struggle. Uh, so you've been a godsend to me because what it has helped me see is that that no bank account, no credit score, no credit card is my source. Um, God is the source. And I literally was, I think, um, deflecting or certainly not attracting um, abundance to myself with my mindset. I was, even though I could come across as being pretty together to people, um, inside there was just a lot of that, what you call thought storm going on mm -hmm. around it and I was so anxious and one of the things that you kept saying to me is just look away look away from that can look more towards serving and less about when's the next money source coming in and uh, that I felt like you were <laughs> like at the time I kept thinking to myself I can't look I mean that's irresponsible to look away and that's you know how, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, and now that I get it now on the other side of it, and I actually get it, um, more comes in and more comes in more effortlessly and more gracefully, as you say, uh, then, and now it's flowing, yeah. um, where before I was chasing it. Now I'm attracting mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, people get so convinced by their money story, Diane, as you know, like they, they, they really think that looking at the problem more solidly is the answer. Mm -hmm. So, um, and as we do that, what I've noticed is our insecurities get stronger and stronger and stronger and no, no solution is possible, no change is possible there. But tell us how you, tell us how you knew that you'd become more weightless around money. 
Well, it's really just been um, the last month or two, I've noticed a really big difference. Like I don't, I don't get up every morning and first thing I do is check my bank account. Um, I don't, um, I don't think about it much now. I'm just busy kind of working and figuring out um, what I want to do next, you know, um, just listening more for the wisdom. So the biggest thing I noticed is just a, a lot more peace and a lot less concern about, mm. about it. Um, I feel, I mean, weightless is a good way to put it a lot, a lot more light, uh, light, light in my spirit, lighthearted. Um, I'm able to show up even, I mean, the, everything could be appearing to be crashing and it's like, I just have this, it'll all be okay. Kind of attitude like that. <laughs> Where in the past it would have been like, Oh my God, where's it going to cut? You know, I would have been 100% focused on it. Now I'm just yeah. like, it's going to work out, you know, and I'm not, um, I'm just not drinking the Kool-Aid anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday you told me that you'd fallen back in love with your business. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about that? Because I think that's a pretty huge um, transformation that, that um, I know certainly when we were cooked, when we are coaching together, uh, that, that you have been so, you know, dedicated to service. So tell us, like, how, like, what do you see as the shift from going from it being complicated and perhaps not being in love with, in love with it to what you told me yesterday that you'd fallen back in love with it? What do you think yeah. changed there? What did you see differently? You know, we women have a tendency to overthink anyway. <laughs> we like to look at things from multiple angles. I'm certainly very guilty of that in my life. I just will overthink something to death. And the very thing that was joyful for me to start like the idea of opening a business and this being, um, you know, a, a, something I could look forward to and enjoy and serve people. Be, it can become, and because I've owned my own business, for, you know, in multiple um, capacities for a lot over the last 23 years, I've been an, an entrepreneur since the mid nineties. So um, this is not a new concept to me to open, to have my own business, but it is a new concept to be this lightweight, about owning my own business. And um, so yes, I think that the overthinking everything, the constant strategizing, the constant, you know, when you're, when you're talking with someone, that temptation to uh, look at them as, can I make money off of them, as opposed to just showing up in a conversation and saying, um, how can I serve them? And, mm -hmm. and not forcing it. Um, but yes, I've fallen back in love with my business. I've made some changes over the last, uh, you know, few weeks that, that I knew in my heart I needed to make that I had been, you know, putting off for, because of a lot of insecure thinking, um, wondering if I really could, um, uh, step in and do things on my own and not have an entourage, you know, mm -hmm. um, to insulate me, uh, things like that. So I think just honoring your, if I had to sum it up, I would say, not overthinking every decision. In fact, stopping all that thinking. Uh, you've taught me that those thoughts pile up like the Leaning Tower of <laughs> Pisa, and they do, and they weigh me down. I was exhausted and tired all the time. Now I don't feel that way anymore. Um, and mm -hmm. trusting mm -hmm. that wisdom, this has been the biggest, I would have to say the biggest revelation is knowing that life has my back and that situations will come across my path if, I, if my bandwidth is wide and I will just um, allow that spaciousness for life to invite me to things and um, mm -hmm. for there to be opportunities to just have that dance with life as opposed to feeling like I have to take the lead all the time. Yeah. And, uh, and then now that has um, freed me up, freed my thinking up to turn my attention toward other things like you know, working out again and enjoying that. Not, not yeah. in any kind of a judgmental way, but just, I want to, I want to feel better. I want to take good care of my body. Um, I want to have more time to do the things I enjoy and giving myself permission to do that. Mm -hmm. Not feeling like I have to be on the American hustle every minute of the day. That's beautiful, Diane. That's really lovely. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is what's really on offer, ladies, when we, when we really, um, are, are moved towards, you know, addressing 
the real problem. And I don't see the real problem as, you know, you've got a money story, you've got a bad habit, you've got this issue going on, you know, you've got this, um, this thing from your family and your ancestors. Mm -hmm. Actually, as I see it more deeply with each client, you know, we're all up against a fluctuating state of mind. And when that state of mind includes a gun to your head about money, about bills, about the future, you're paralyzed. So my job is really, uh, is really to help each of you to remove the gun, particularly the insecurity about money, and to help you feel more weightless around money and around your business to fall back in love with your business like Diane here has shared. So if you would love to uh, experience some of that for yourself and to go like Diane has gone from being freaked out at times about money and having, and having more of a life that was, uh, it was less enjoyable to now having peace around it and flow is what I'm hearing, Diane, yeah. as well. Not just mm -hmm. an arbitrary, nice, peaceful feeling, but opportunities coming in without you going mm -hmm. chasing them. If that's something you would like, ladies, if that speaks to you, uh, get in touch. I'd love to help you become more weightless around this subject in particular. And you can email me on gracefulcoaching at gmail.com. Uh, or you can fill in our application form to talk about coaching together over on gracefulcoaching.net forward slash speak with grace. Diane from Lady Like Leaders, thank you so much for sharing today. And I wish you a lovely day. Thank you.